On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Friday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog, so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, we have two stories for share in the evening. One local and one international. But we are going to share the local story first, then we get into the international story after. Now on your screen is a 16-year-old young man. And for once in my life, me address him as a young man and not as a old dirty kind of boy. Because when I did checks about him personally and also his family background, boy come from good decent family have a mother that is trying desperately hard with him and she probably and i would honestly believe that she has no idea of his doings the mother is of a certain profession so that gives me some sort of understanding as to the type of person that she is because she also deals with children a lot and her son who attends a prominent college in spanish town has been licking heads with other youngsters who are more deeply rooted in criminality in the spanish town space and is here on the internet, flaunting with a Glock pistol in his hands. Now on your screen is two videos of him basically showing off his artillery. He doesn't even have the common sense to know that your finger should not be in the trigger unless you're prepared to use it. No, you can definitely say say is an amateur this 16 years of age no young man and i'm gonna address you by name so you know for sure say me know what me are talking about justin jones yeah man you may attack i won't name your school simply because the school is an entity by itself and we don't want to bring the school in a disrepute but I'm speaking to you as a young man. I'm pretty sure when your mother sees this, she's going to be very much ashamed of you and the choices that you have made. No, you're not too far gone. We still can save you and redeem you. And we just hope that you take this vlog as a learning tool for safeguard you and point you in the right direction we know you're gonna feel away you might feel shame but let's look at it this way you never feel no way when time you had to do the tiktok video probably it was not in your intention for it get out and reach to me but you did it anyway that in itself was a foolish move but we're glad to see you're foolish enough where we can actually highlight this and try to save you from yourself and also from society and save you from getting an early grave or 15 years for your illegal position of I am. Now to the parents of this young man, Justin Jones. I would also advise you because this firearm just may be his 
Because we know that we don't have two little shillings, so we just might use phone money and buy it. But if it is not his, and he still have it in his possession, I don't know, you know. But the squad, they might see that video here, so them just may pay on a visit too. Who knows? But this type of behavior comes with consequences. And whatever the consequences is, just face it like the man you are in that video. And I just hope that you use it as a means of understanding yourself and go back on the right track. Because we have clearly seen that you have derailed since you start par with the knackis and clappies them in a Spanish town. That is not a life that you want to get into. No parents also again, even if that firearm is owned by a family member or a friend that legally owns that firearm and has the proper documentation to show. The fact that that firearm is in the hands of your 16 year old son who is not the registered owner or carrier of the firearm makes it illegal and the same punishment applies under the law just so you know. Go over Sir P channel and listen to those clansman recordings. Young man go listen them recordings there. And then ask yourself the question if that is the type of life you want to live or if that is the type of road you want to walk onto. Well, two roads before you in a youth. Pick your choice. Is either you walk away from the dirty corner boy lifestyle eh? or you stay in it and automatically you sign your own death warrant or a lifetime behind bars. Yeah, man. So pick your choice. And I hope that you pick your choice and choose wisely. So anyway, my peeps, make a move on over there now to the international story. Now, I don't know the persons involved in the video that I will be playing, but I saw it circulating all over social media. And you know, so once it involves one of our own, on the spot news media most definitely have to bring it. Now it's about a Jamaican father and his son living in the United States. The father stated that he sent his son to put the garbage outside in the dumpster because it seems as if they live in an apartment complex so they have to use the big dumpster. And whilst his son was doing so, a white police officer saw him and handcuffed him and put him in the back of his service vehicle. Just to note, he's an underage boy. And the reason for that, the white officer stated that he fit a certain description. No, boy, may I tell you, even in 2023, the oppression of young black men is still happening and I'm sure after you watch this video you'll see how traumatized that child was after he was released. Other police officers quickly came on the scene and saw what was happening and a white female officer kind of quashed the thing a little way and released him back into the custody of his father. Really sad and heartbreaking type of thing. But I hope that the father sues the pants of that police department. And I hope that that particular officer is sanctioned and brought before his office and is taken off frontline duty or is penalized for his unwarranted actions. But anyway, my peeps, watch and see where I go on. The 
kid bringing out his trash to be dumped and he's getting harassed by the police. He was taking out his trash, yo. His dad's coming out to see why they have put their, his son in handcuffs. They put him in here because he was just dumping the dump. Yo, that was the wrong shit, yo. But what the kid do, though? The description. That's for both. It ain't even him. I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> That's what he did. You get what I'm saying? And, he, and that's a trauma that traumatized my son. You know? That's the wrong you shit, know? though. That's wrong shit, yo. For real. Got the K9 and shit. I'm going to All these cop for a teenage kid. Yo, the, the wrong person, yo. My son come down to, uh, to, to enter the garbage. And that's what he's going through. This is bullshit he's going through. That's some bullshit. He, he right, though. He got a right to speak. And he has on a free choice, but white, whatever. <laughs> that's how he goes through his life. I'm going to get through it. Wrong description and shit. They done arrested him, brought the canine down here. Now they've been arrested the young boy, but then traumatized him. All these cops, put him in a cop car. Now they about to lie. They was wrong for that shit, man. They was wrong for that shit. The boy dramatized, boy. That boy fucked up. Well, look at that motherfucker. He crying and shit. What? What? You said what? They can't do nothing with me. Who oh, are my peeps? Anyway, I take that one here. The one that just rough from all angles. But anyway, share your comments in the comment section below. And stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.